Behind me is my vanilla old man truck. It's very stock and we are going to transform it. So stick around, check out my new attack unit for elk hunting out west. My truck build honestly was something that I've been thinking about for quite a while. Last year I had a Tacoma, great rig, great for the mountains, too small. TRD edition, handled the mountains well, but I couldn't pull anything and I really didn't have enough room for all my gear. I just noticed when I was in the mountains, I, I could hardly pull any weight behind me. Uh, going up grades and stuff like that, engine just was working overtime and then every time I needed to move camps when I'm elk hunting. It was a matter of Tetris, where I was trying to fit all my totes, all my gear, trying to remember where all my gear was. I just wasted a lot of energy and effort trying to figure out where all my stuff was and get reorganized and dial. Sold the Tacoma, bought a GMC, super stock, but I wanted a three quarter ton. I didn't want a diesel. I've had one before, I just wanted a gasser. This is what I got. I got a stock work truck. And I met with off-road power products mainly Kyle Bickley, he sat down with me and we took my idea, we put pen and paper down, and he said he could do the build. I wanna say that I don't have a lot of other interests besides training for elk hunting and actual elk hunting. So my lifestyle is super simplistic. I have an archery range, I have a gym at my house, and I have my truck as my weapon so I can stay mobile while elk hunting. I don't do a lot of other things. I don't go to movies. I don't go out drinking. I don't go out to dinner. I, I'm very simple and so when I spend my time, energy, my resources on things, it's things that serve a purpose. And to me, this truck is just a tool. I, I don't really care if it looks cool. I do think it does look cool, but ultimately it needs to serve the purpose of how can I take the family camping more often and spontaneously? And how can I go elk hunting and move camps frequently and be able to sleep out of my truck, not have to pull a camper or a tent trailer some sort of something behind my truck that wasn't meant to go in the rough mountain roads. Here I can take my truck just about anywhere on a two track road, pull over, find a quick flat spot, camp for the night, move on to the next location. This is totally a lifestyle. This is a game changer for me. So before we got fancy, we had to focus on the actual truck itself. I wanted to upgrade the suspension. Kyle suggested the ready lift kit, and we ended up doing three and a half inch in the front, two in the rear, basically just leveling it out. The most important thing was the steel box upper control arms. Those were going to help keep the truck sturdy and not wear out ball joints. I also put SST front and rear shocks. In the front, those forged torsion keys and upper control arms work together to where my truck can handle the off-roads of elk hunting and not break down. And I can tell you right now, it's an entirely different ride as to pose when it was stock. The wheel tire combo, I, I wasn't really that worried about aesthetics, uh, but Kyle definitely convinced me to go Nito Ridge Grapplers. They, they wear really good. They have strong sidewalls. Um, it's a 34 and a half inch tire, so it's not obnoxious. It's an all-terrain. We threw on method wheels. They're very affordable for me on my budget. Uh, they got bead grep technology and bead lock style, and, and that's important to me. And then the deck system. I've always wanted a deck system. I want to carry a whole bunch of Murphy's Law tools. So tools for when I get a flat tire, tools when something breaks on my dirt bike, tools when anything that can and will go wrong and I like carrying a lot of tools with me and I don't want my tools in the way so I keep them stored or stowed away in the deck system. It pulls out, it's beautiful, everything I know exactly where it's at and it's a system. Uh, the Thule Tapui rooftop tent, 
is a game changer. It sleeps two people, upwards of three. I love it. It takes five seconds to set up and it takes about five minutes to put back up and I'm on my way. And it sits on top of the Lightner Design rack. This is just a one piece rack. It's all forged, it's super strong, it's robust, it's rigid, and it comes with all these accessories. So I have the recovery tracks, I got a gallon of water, a gallon of gas, I have a couple of storage systems, storage racks to where I can put all my gear in there as well. And so really everything serves a purpose on this truck. It's a mobile attack elk hunting unit. What that means is that I can move caps frequently. Sometimes I'll drive 20, 30 miles between days to change hunting spots. It means that my truck is built for the nasty roads, whether it's snow or maybe it's gumbo or clay. I can uh, just know that I can rely on this tool to get me to where I need and enhance my experience. I just want to take the time to officially thank the whole team at Off-Road Power Products. Brian, Kyle, and the rest of the squad from the production to the guys who are actually cranking down on wrenches. You guys crushed this build. You built it. You blew my mind. You exceeded my expectations. And so if you're interested in doing something similar, reach out to Kyle at Off-Road Power Products. Shoot him an email. Tell him Elk Shape sent you. He'll take great care of you. I know that this was all within my budget and it all came together just in time for September. I couldn't be happier. I want to thank all you for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.